Shalom. This is the brother Azana Moth. I'm back at you with another lesson. And first off, as always, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakar Kadash, and double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well. And peace and salutations to the Akim, priests, seers, and prophets. All right, the Bayah Shah the 144, the one third. Okay, Shalom. Now, I want to bring a lesson to you, all right, about uh, the righteousness of the Hebrew Israelites, the seed, okay, of the salvation given unto us, the seed, okay, of righteousness, okay, which will come out of Jacob, okay, whom is the offspring of Isaac and Abraham. Now, the Christians and men like Vocab Malone and others believe that because of Abraham that they are involved as well but no that's contrary to the truth all right so I want to go to the book of Jeremiah dealing with this verse right here and ye shall be my people and I will be your God all right the Lord says he will be our God and, he, and we should be his people okay so we're dealing with a progenitor of a royal line of kings and priests and we, so we understand that who in their right mind wouldn't want to have a stock into that all right being the Lord's people him being their God and knowing that we have identity thieves okay the 1948ers and there's over 200 Christian sex in the world all right so they're trying to cleave to a lie that they were led to believe so let's get this this is 2nd Thessalonians 2 and 11 and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie and see that's what happened they have a strong delusion that the Lord is their people all right but when we go through the Torah, we go through Numbers, we go through Leviticus, Deuteronomy, Genesis. From the beginning of Genesis, it begins with the Lord's people. Now this is Genesis 13 and 15. It reads, For all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it. Alright? And to thy seed forever. Alright? And that seed forever is the seed of Jacob coming out of his father Isaac all right so the Lord said I will be your God and you will be my people and that's that true vine of Israel likened into a woman okay and Yahweh Shah will be the husband of us all right so all Israel eventually will be saved okay because we according to Genesis 13 16 it says I will make thy seed as the dust of the earth well, can you count the number of sand on the beach or dust on the earth? No, you can't. Okay? So that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed be numbered. So we're not to be numbered. And this is what vocab can't understand. All right? And men like him. Okay? Set up to lead you astray, man. All right? So we are in the right mind, understanding that the Lord is here for us. And when men like Vocab come with replacement theology, all right, it's full of lies and it holds no water. You see, there's a remnant of the Lord's people that will wake up out of that perpetual lie that's been told. All right, Genesis 15 and 15. And it reads, and he brought him a fourth abroad and said, look now towards heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall I see it be. Okay. You can't count the stars. You can't count the sand. All right. Let's get this. Just to bring it out. This is 22 and 17. That in a blessing, I will bless thee. Who? The 12 tribes of Israel. And multiplying, I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven 
all right? And as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies, all right? See, the sand which is upon the seashore, you can't count that. Genesis 32 and 12. And thou sayest, I will surely do thee good and make thy seed as the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. All right. Okay. So the seed of Abraham. All right. The seed is who the Lord is going to redeem. Right. Salvation is in offered to the seed of Jacob, man, and that be you. Everybody can't have a part of this. So when we go through the precepts to have understanding what the Lord is telling us, all right, this book was written for us by us. It's a line of hope that the Lord left for us, okay? All right, so we go to book Luke, the first chapter, 68 verse. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, all right? The Lord is redeeming his people. Nobody else, okay? That doesn't go for anybody else on this planet. The Israelites, let's go down to verse 77. It says, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. The Lord is coming to redeem the sins. The Lord died for our sins. He was appropriation for Israel. All right, let's get that. You know, and we'll find that in the book of Romans. All right, the third chapter. Let's get that. All right, let's go down to verse 25. Just bring that point out. It says, we'll start right here. So the Lord came and died for our sins, not the whole world, for the world of Israel. And this is what Yahweh Shai was explaining to Nicodemus. The world of Israel, John 3, 16, which they have totally screwed up. This is Romans 3 and 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And that redemption of sins, all right, is for the Israelites. Okay, verse 25 says that. Whom God hath set forth to be appropriation, all right, through the faith of his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are passed through the forbearance of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, see, all right? So he came and died for the sins of Israel, okay? That's what Luke 177 is giving us the illustration of, to give knowledge and salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, all right? Their sins, you see? So you have to ask yourself, you know? This is why you have to be well studied, all right? So no one can come and spew things to you. Let's go to Galatians 3. Right? This is Galatians 3. Yahweh Shai has redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse from us. All right? For his written curse is everyone to hang up from a tree. And that was Yahweh Shai. All right? Spilling his blood for the Israelites. Okay? So, according to the scriptures, according to the Mesoretic text, according to the spirit of the Lord giving us this truth. All right? If salvation is granted and rewarded to the seed of Jacob, four, which we all know very well, when we go to Romans, the ninth chapter, this is a dagger, all right, for unbelievers, okay? This is a dagger because they can't get around this word right here. It's in every Bible written this way, okay? And this is very clear who the Lord is dealing with, the seed of Jacob. Romans 9 and 4, who are the Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises? All right, why doesn't it say the whole world right there? 
Why does it say? And this is the New Testament. You see? We're not in the Old Testament. So how do you deal with this, you pastors? You know, how do you deal with this, you unbelievers? Because the next verse tells us whom Yahweh Shai came for. All right, Romans 9 and 5. Whose are the fathers in whom as concerning the flesh Yahweh Shai came? All right, what else do you need to hear? Okay, but they don't believe that. And this is why we got to always go back into the scriptures because they believe that it stops with Abraham. No, it's through Isaac, then his son Jacob, okay? All right, just because you come out of Abraham don't mean you get these promises. Romans 9 and 7, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all but children, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called, all right? That is, that which are the children of the flesh, all right, which are the other nations, these are not the children of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Yeah, yeah, that's the Israelites. You see? And when you begin to go down and review this and look at this, you begin to see that the Lord is going to show mercy on he who he wants to show mercy on. And you begin to look at the Lord loves Jacob and he hates Esau, you see? All right? Let's get into the book of Leviticus because the Lord said he would be our God and we will be his people, the children of Israel. Leviticus 26 and 12. And I will walk among you and be your God and you shall be my people. You see? And you should be my people. And this is what the heathen are having a problem with. They're trying to cleave. This ain't the time to cleave. You see? All right? Ezekiel 37 and 28. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel. My sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. All right? It doesn't say the whole world right here. Okay? It doesn't say the whole world. All right? See, when you're dealing with the scriptures and when you're dealing with truth, we're not putting our feelings into it. We're not crazy men, all right, just in the Bible all day making things up. No, we go through these precepts and understand what we're talking about before we put it on wax. All right? Jeremiah 7 and 23. Okay? And it reads... But this thing commanded I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you should be my people, and walk ye in all the ways I have commanded you. Who, who did the Lord give the commandments to? All right? He didn't give the commandments to everybody. He gave the commandments to the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? That it may be well unto you. You see? All right? You is talking to us. And he left this information for us, all right, because he knew it was going to be replacement theologies, doctrines of devils, all right? But the Lord's remnant would wake up from that dead sleep and understand thoroughly these scriptures, all right? Jeremiah 11 and 4, we're dealing with the seed of Israel. We're dealing with the Lord saying he will be our God and we shall be his people. Jeremiah 11, 4, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt and from the iron furnace saying, obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you. All right, another commandment. What commandments did the Lord give the other nations, man, the heathen? Nothing. All right. And it says, so shall ye be my people and I will be your God. All right? I will be your God. He's talking to us. He's talking to you. All right? You see, the Lord has hollowed this. The tree of life is a reward to the elect of Israel and offered to the scatter abroad coming back. All right? And that Gentile state. Israelites being grafted back into the fold. All right. 
not living in lasciviousness, lust, things of the world, all right, living like brute beasts. We were those things, okay? But it was a seed was going to wake up, all right? And that true vine being Israel, that true vine, okay? So the other nations have never taken part in this covenant. This covenant was never for them. The Lord died and gave us commandments through a blood covenant. Let's get Psalms 50. Psalms 50 and 5 to prove that, right? It says, gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice, right? By that sacrifice. And that blood sacrifice was given to us, man. You see, right? So pursuing the Hosea, the first chapter, we would come back to the Lord, okay? And it was gonna be that sand of the sea that a man cannot number or measure, all right? The righteous branches, vines and roots, you know? Let's read Hosea 1 and 10. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, all right? As the sand of the sea. You cannot go on any beach anywhere in this world all right, and count every speckle of sand, all right? But a remnant was gonna come out of this sand. You see? See, so if the Lord didn't root you, he's gonna pluck you up, all right? And it says, which cannot be measured nor numbered, it shall come to pass that in that place where it was said unto them, you are not my people because we had that falling off, right? There shall be said unto them, you are the sons of the living God. You see, sons of the living God, right? Continuing it says, then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel, all right, two sticks, be gathered together and appoint themselves one head. And they shall come out of the land of the north, where we are in the land of America, and that one head will be Shai. For great shall be the day of Jezreel, man. All right? Okay? So spiritually, if the Lord didn't root you, he's going to pluck you up. All right? You have to be rooted by the Lord, man. So the Lord has righteous branches, vines, roots, trees. Men are referred to trees. You have to have proper, okay, soil, a proper foundation, to produce good fruit. Well, we were the weeds in the garden, all right? You gotta have good soil. And the two thirds of our people will be likened unto weeds in the garden, all right? The Lord will root them out. So those two thirds will be likened unto that, okay? Weeds, you know? And what do you do with weeds, man? You, you kill the weeds. You root them up. If you have dead leaves on a tree that you're taking care of, all right? You have to trim off the dead leaves off the branch so it can have new growth, all right? And that would represent the killing off the old self, being spiritually reborn when we go to the book of John, the third chapter, all right? But right here, here's a precept, Matthew 15, 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father not planted shall be rooted up, all right? So that would be the two thirds. They're gonna come back. All right, but they have to be rooted up. They have to die here, all right? Rooted and built up in him, established in the faith that you have been taught, all right? And the Lord is going to be their God too, but they have to die by fire, all right? So let's go to Joel 2 and 27. It reads, and he shall know that I am the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else. Why would this? Why would the Bible say that, vocab? And my people shall be never ashamed. All right. And what people is the Lord talking about? Huh? Verse thirty-two. And it shall come to pass that whosoever, all right, John three sixteen. They love that. That whosoever. But if you keep reading, all right, it says shall call upon the name of the Lord. Are any heathen calling on the name of Yahweh? They don't even know his name. Hey, those 48ers out there call him Hashem because the name is too powerful for him. 
You see? All right? It says, That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Yahweh shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. All right? And that's that remnant. As the Lord has said, And the remnant whom the Lord shall call. All right? So the remnant is going to be delivered first. Okay? It's the second air, just 1 and 29. It reads that ye would be my people and I should be your God. That ye would be my children and I will be your father. And hey, that's pretty plain upon tables. That's pretty plain upon tables. See, the Lord died for the Israelites, man. He sent his son to die for us. Remember it, we read earlier, cursed to be he that hang from a tree. Well, who hung from a tree? All right? They used to hang Israelites for fun, man. All right? Yahweh Shai was hung on a tree. And after Yahweh Shai was hung from a tree, all right, we go through the 50s and 60s when we see black men and women and children being hung from a tree. All right? Mass lynchings. So this is a proclamation, okay? that we have been through, all right? This is Acts 5 and 31, all right? It reads, him God have exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And see, we never knew none of these scriptures or verses where we were in the world. You see, right? Let's get the definition of your. It says belonging to or associated with the person or people. All right, so it's hey, your. You got you got your own woman. You got your own you know man. That's yours. No one else's. You have your own house. Your own. That's yours. You see? All right. Now look at all these precepts dealing with us being the Lord's people. So let's read Ezekiel twenty and forty one. It reads, "I will accept you." with your sweet savor and I will bring you out of the people and gather you out of the countries wherein you have been scattered, okay? And I will be sanctified in you before the heathen, all right? Let's read this, Ezekiel 11 and 17. Therefore say, say of the Lord God, I will gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you've been scattered and give you the land of Israel, all right? And this shows that the people in the land of Israel aren't the people now because the Lord has not given them shit. You see? Right? We're going to have the land of milk and honey. Leviticus 20 and 24. But I have said unto you, you shall inherit the land and I will give it unto you and possess it. A land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power, which have separated you from the other people, man. All right? from the other people, all right? So who's the other people? Second after six and 54. Again, we all come from Adam, all right? And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all creatures, of him come we all. And the people whom must thou have chosen, all right? So there's a separation right here. All people, but there's a select people, okay? The Hebrew Israelites. And this I've spoken before thee, Lord, because I made us the world for our sakes. The Lord has made the world for our sake. As for the other people, okay? As for the other people that we just read, which also come of Adam. So you have, and the people whom thou hast chosen, and you also have the people who also come from Adam, the other side, the heathen. Thou hast said they are nothing but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay? All right? And we are being killed and murdered by those people now. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. And this is what we're going through till this day. You see? Yahabashim al Shai, all right, it's for the world of Israel. Okay? 
all right? Wisdom of Solomon in 1824. For in the long garment was the whole world, all right? The whole world. And the four rows of the stones was the glory of the Father's graven and the majesty upon the diadem of the head, okay? All right, and that will be a priest of the Most High, all right? That will be the 12 stones, okay, on the vest, you see, that a priest would wear, okay? For in the long garment was the whole world, all right? I'm gonna get second address two, two and 41, all right? Let's get that. It reads, the number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning to be hallowed. All right? See, we were called from the beginning to be hallowed. Hallowed is to be holy, to be set apart, to be anointed. Okay? To be the elect on the government body. All right? Of the house of David, kings, priests, and powers unto Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the lamp. And we are the light of Yahweh Shai. They don't want to deal with these prophecies. See, we have our own God. Our God is our power. The God of Israel. All right? But other nations have their own gods. Even, okay, Goliath had spoken that before David slew his ass, man. All right? This is 1 Samuel 17 and 43. And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog? That thou comest to me with staves, and the Philistine cursed David by his gods. You see, he has his own gods. The Lord gave the heathen their own gods to serve. You see? And this is why they have Astrid. This is why they have Buddha. The Lord don't give a damn about who they praise. You got y'all can go pray statues all you want to. But when the children of Israel go off, all right, I'm going to punish them for their transgressions. And let's get that in the book of Amos. The Lord said he only knows us, so he will punish us for our transgressions. You understand? This is Amos 3 and 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you, punish you for all your inequities. All right? The Lord don't give a damn about nobody else, man. He says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. There are 18 total nations. The Lord came and died for Israel. You see, right? When he brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, there were other nations in captivity under, under the hand of Pharaoh, right? But Moses was sent to what? He was sent all right, so that the children of Israel will be released. And this is why we know that this covenant was given to us. Let's go to the book of Hebrews, all right? Start off with verse eight. For finding fault with them, our forefathers, he said, behold, the days come and say of the Lord when I will make a new covenant, all right? A new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, or again, the two sticks, right? The northern kingdom, the southern kingdom, right? The house of Jacob, the house of Joseph, man, it will be one. And it says, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, all right? And that was by Moses, led through the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, followed okay in the wilderness on the cloud day and night all right it says because they continue not in my covenant and i regarded them not saith the lord all right i regarded them not saith the lord for this is the covenant i will make with the house of israel after those days saith the lord i will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts i will be to them a god and they shall be my people all right you're going to have to deal with that man okay and this is how we know we're not in the new covenant right now because are any laws written in your heart right now okay right 
Are any laws written in your heart right now? Am I teaching you right now? So we're still learning. We're still teaching, which means we're not in the new covenant pursuing to Hebrews 8 and 11. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. For all shall know me from least to greatest and all do not know Yahweh Shai. This is why we teach the word. See, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their inequities will I remember no more. All right. Okay. So the Lord is going to have mercy on Jacob. All right. Mercy on Jacob pursuing to Isaiah the 14th chapter. All right. The Lord is speaking of us, the true vine, the Israelites, not you other nations. All right. And you wicked pastors. All right. Trying to start a flock other ways. Vocab Malone doing his job on the left. All right. You can't deal with these precepts. See, the Lord's going to have mercy on Jacob, right? He's going to have mercy on Jacob. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and I will choose Israel, okay? All right? The Lord's going to choose Israel, and you can't deal with this. Israelites, not the heathen. You think the Lord will choose a nation under him that have been serving other gods? No, he appointed them their own gods. And he has appointed us, all right, righteousness. And that's the seed of Israel. Okay, but the elect seed will come out of that. And the elect remnant will come out of this. Okay, and we belong to him. These other nations can do what the hell they want to do. That's why the Lord says you shall not go after other gods of the gods of the people which are around about you right the god they serve other gods they serve other deities see there are other gods but besides you how about you have a shy but those other gods are all deities and we are not to worship them all right because we're set apart see we're set apart just for the lord man this is the book of deuteronomy 7 6 for thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy God, our God. See, it says thy God, that means yours. Thy Lord Yahweh, thy God, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all the people upon the face of the earth. Okay? So how do you deal with that? Now this scripture, we bring this scripture out for years, man. But you still can't deal with this vocab. Right? The Lord's coming for Jacob, man. All right? The seed is for Jacob. We can go to Sirach 17, 17. We can go to Psalms 135 and 4. We can go to Psalms 147, 19, 20. We can go to Matthew 121. We can go to Isaiah 59 and 20. Jeremiah 31 and 11. I mean, I can keep going on and on and on. This was given to us children of Israel man and that's it no one else Israelites the children of Israel and nobody else all right I hope this lesson has been edifying to the body and elect of Yahweh Bashim Abishai Bashim Rakakadash this is the brother Azanamah Shalom